Hey everyone, here are the 5 apps I recommend everyone to install on their Steam Deck. So if you're into emulation, you must install EmuDeck. This app helps you download, install and manage your emulators on your Steam Deck. And once you've put the ROMs in the corresponding directory, the app can also help you add them to your Steam library. So you can just launch them from your Steam Deck game mode, just like a normal game. Here's my library in action. Okay, so the next program I recommend is Heroic Games Launcher. Just go to Discover and search Heroic and download this. I've already have it, so I'll launch it. So this program lets you log into your Epic Games Store and also your GOG account and then you can install your library from there. And when you log into your Epic Games Store, make sure you collect the three games they give every two weeks. They give So make sure you go to the store. Look at my library for uh, Epic Games. I haven't even bought a game from Epic and look at my library I've collected over uh, these few years. Uh, there's some heavy hitters like uh, GTA, Hitman, Tomb Raider, Neo. Uh, yeah, some of the games uh, they give out are pretty good. So make sure you collect them. And so here's uh, The Witcher that I've installed. And once you've installed it through Heroic, you can add it to Steam Library. And uh, in your Steam Library, you can just uh, open it up like a normal Steam game. The third app I would like to recommend would be Proton Tricks. So go to the Discover Store and type Proton Tricks and you can install this. If you're like me and you like to try before you buy, sometimes I'll download the cracked games and try to install them on the Steam Deck and some of them just don't work out of the gate. Some of those games, they need some dependencies which aren't installed when you just copy the game over to your Steam Deck. So, you know, they might need uh, DirectX, they might need some uh, Visual C++ uh, dependencies, and you can't install them. So with Proton Tricks, once you launch it, you can select the game that you want to install those dependencies on, and then you can select uh, those which needed. See, so I've just opened this, and uh, when I install a Windows or DLL component, there's a list for you to choose from. So you can choose from uh, DirectX, uh, this D3D, which I was needed for the latest game I installed, uh, .NET, uh, Visual C++, all that. So, uh, so some of these games need this to run. So if you're into this kind of stuff, you'll need this app. Okay, so the fourth app I'd like to recommend is called Warpinator. So go to Discover and type in Warpinator. And you need to install one on your Steam Deck and you need to install another client on your computer. Because this program helps you transfer files between your Steam Deck and your PC. Uh, as you know, the Steam Deck is running on Linux. So it is kind of hard to transfer files between your Linux and your Windows PC. Um, this program helps you do that. So uh, I do transfer uh, a lot of uh, my ROMs that are from my PC to my Steam Deck and sometimes uh, the cracked games that I've installed on my PC, I can also transfer the whole game folder to Steam Deck and run it from there. So I don't need to install it on my Steam Deck because uh, you could install on your Steam Deck but uh, the Steam Deck's not that powerful. So uh, some games would take a really long time to install. So it's best to install on your PC and then just copy the whole full game folder to your Steam Deck. Uh, and I normally transfer it by Warpinator. Uh, you could use other programs like FTP or put it on uh, NAS if you have at home. But uh, Warpinator is a very simple program that helps you do it. So now I'm I'm showing you I'm transferring a ROM, uh, Pokemon Y ROM, from my PC to my Steam Deck, um, and it's uh, transferring right now uh, at a pretty decent speed. Uh, it's not the best, but uh, it's okay. 
so if sometimes you have some larger files, maybe you'll do it another way. But uh, this is just convenient for me. So uh, this is why I recommend using this uh, program. And once it's complete, you can just click on the folder to open it up. You can see uh, it's located in the directory that I've set. So yeah. The final app I'm going to recommend in this video is called Becky Loader. It's not located in the Discover Store, so you'd have to go to the GitHub page. I'll put a link in the description. Or if you downloaded the first app I recommended, Emudeck, it's actually built in there. So if you open Emudeck, there's a Power Tools button. If you install Power Tools, uh, Power Tools is actually a plugin for Decky Loader. So if you install this, you basically have Decky Loader installed. So uh, in order to run Decky Loader, we need to go inside game mode. So let's do that now. Once you're in game mode, press the three dot button on the Steam Deck and on the right side, you'll see a Power logo. This is Decky Loader app. And there's an app store inside there where you can download uh, many useful plugins. Uh, but today I won't go through them here. Uh, one I would like to share with you is called the Steam Grid DB plugin. So when you download MU Deck and you load a lot of ROMs and you're putting a lot of emulated games on your Steam Deck, uh, you want to make sure that the home screen looks nice. So you, here you can change the artwork. See for Persona 4, I could customize the different cover art that I want to show on my home screen. So this makes your Steam Deck uh, all nice and pretty. So there you have it. Those are the five apps that I recommend every Steam Deck user to have. Emu Deck, uh, Heroic Games Launcher, Proton Tricks, Decky Loader, and Warpinator. Those five apps are a must-have. I uh, hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.